Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. We didn't film at all yesterday because the day just flew by. I'm just eating my breakfast. So is Kershaw and Eric went to Bible study and we're both super tired. I went to bed at 8.45 last night, passed out, and I woke up still extremely tired. So it's going to be a good day. Did a workout and Eric and I are babysitting tonight. We're babysitting a friend of ours baby for the evening. So we're probably not gonna film the rest of today. I don't know, we'll see. But um, I just did a workout and I just wanted to share how cute but also so annoying. Oh my gosh, she's too much. She is. She is the least self-aware being in existence because she always has to be touching me at all times it's super cute but it's also like okay stop so i don't know if anybody else's dog does that but it's too much um yeah we're gonna babysit tonight so we don't want the baby on the camera so we'll see you later i'm so tired i have no energy right now but I am meal prepping because I didn't do it earlier this week. I have these, oh my gosh, I have no idea how these are gonna be. Plan these crabless cakes. Will they be good or will they be disgusting? That's a secret I'll never tell. But here they are. Also, the directions are in French for some reason and your girl doesn't know French, so I have no idea how to cook them. But, uh, Anyway, and then I have some brown rice. I'm roasting some kale. And then I'm gonna put some butternut squash. My new favorite thing is roasting kale and butternut squash together. It's so good. So I'm gonna make this hopefully last two meals. And then Friday, who knows? Who the heck knows? I'll deal with it when it comes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> bad mood the last couple weeks and I have not been making videos of it, that's for sure. We have had a doozy of a couple of weeks which is why we haven't been making videos or anything uh, because the car I always drive, a 1997 RAV4, has a gas leak. Um, I will happily get rid of that. It's old as heck, bucket of rust, whatever. On the other hand, our Honda Civic, that was my car when I graduated college, Bethany drives every day. The engine decided to take a poop. The engine seized up on our Honda Civic and while Bethany was driving it, of course, smoking and the, the, whole, the whole works. We went from two cars to zero cars within six days time. So that's, that's always a fun time, definitely. You know, we're so blessed in the sense that people from our church have just bent over backwards for us and and loaned us their cars as you can might maybe see right now it's a 2015 we went from driving a 2002 and a 97 to driving a 2015 anything from 2015 is going to be nice compared to what we're driving a friend of mine let me borrow his 2020 jeep wrangler speaking of nice vehicles when I say people from our church were very generous, I'm not talking like, oh yeah, I have some clunker in my driveway that I don't use, you can borrow it. No, they were like legit sacrifices on their part. No offense, I wouldn't let some some couple borrow our 2020 vehicles. I... But anyways. We've also never owned a 2020 vehicle. Well, you know so, what I mean. It's, it's even more impressive to us because we don't have anything that nice. But to people who have had that, all of them have been like, it's just, they're just things, they're just material things, and they're supposed to be used, and they're supposed to be shared and given. So, yeah, people have been very generous. We've 
just seen that tenfold. So we're very blessed, very grateful. But the car hunt is still on, which is what we're doing now. Going into the month of November, I knew it was going to be very busy. I knew it was going to be very stressful. I have a youth event. I'm preaching later in the month. The holiday. Um, other things in between, some family coming into town, and like right now we're on our way to, yeah, we're going to CarMax, but we're going to my parents' house to see my brother and his wife and the kids, because we might or might not see them during Thanksgiving, so I knew it was going to be stressful. I did not know within the first week of the month we were going to lose literally both of our vehicles. So. Neither one of us have ever bought a car before, so we don't exactly know what we're doing. And we definitely know, don't know jack squat about cars, so That's for sure. let's try to buy a good car and not get completely taken advantage of. Would be would be a goal. If you're buying a car right now in this market, you know it's rough. They're so expensive, like everything, all prices and everything is so inflated, and there's so few options. It's just it's. Not the ideal time, yeah. but... Yeah, literally what? the worst time in human history to ever buy a car. New or used. So dramatic. But, so, we kind of know what we want in a car, but, you know, we don't always get what we want. Screw us. <laughs> we rarely get what we want. <laughs> yeah, right. But, life's not about getting what you want. You know, sometimes you get what you... You get what you get and you don't pitch a pit. That's why I tell my kindergartners. That's why we've been pretty absent from uh, the YouTube world as of late. 